I, I've been in a North Point men's group for years, and, and I've been in, I've either, be, either been in a men's group, led a men's group, I've been looking for one for most of the past 40 years. And so I came back during this series, and the guys in the group, we started talking about this, and I said, you know, in, rather than looking at the Bible for all the representations and, 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 and the truth of how it is and who we are, we're guys. What happens if we turn the lens around and look at the way we are wired? What if you look at the way that we are wired to behave as evidence of a divine personality? And, and, and so the, the, the title of the book ended up being Because I Made You This Way. But I, I don't have a better way other than, you know, what was finally distilled on the back of this, the phrase, through a glass darkly which is, of course, a New Testament phrase. You know, now you see through a glass darkly, but then you will see. Okay, through a glass darkly is a peculiar phrase. It implies that we can't comprehend reality through the lens of personal experience. While the Bible offers worthwhile principles for living, it is not a reference of authority to someone who has not acknowledged it as truth. Hmm. So rather than wrestle with ideology, let's change the focus and consider ourselves as evidence of a divine personality. Because a major that way presents 12 contentions for the way God designed you to recognize him. The book offers an explanation for why God made you the way you are, not your flesh and bone, but your mind, your will, and your spirit. Topics are grouped in three sections, how you were born, what you have, and what you want.